I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a problem on electrochemistry. I want to show you a really solid problem on electrochemistry that if you can master this question, it's going to be a huge asset when you take the DAT exam and you'll be able to hit most of the questions in the DAT Destroyer. So let's take a look at how I go about doing a four-part question that has multiple concepts in the area that most kids struggle in called electrochemistry. So come on around and let's look at what I did for you. What I want to do in this problem, it says that we have an unknown compound, MNO3. So we have a nitrate and it's going to be analyzed. A solution of the compound is electrolyzed, meaning it underwent electrolysis for 35 minutes using 2.5 amperes. 3.06 grams of the metal is then deposited. And what I want to do is to find the metal. Where would I even start this problem? I'm going to first go off to the side and take the metal nitrate and zap it with electricity and break it up into the two ions. Well, we know we have two nitrates, so that puts a minus two, so therefore M must be a plus two. And there's the thing we're interested in, and we want to deposit it as a metal, so we're looking for a solid. So in order to do this, we're going to take plus two. We need two electrons to give you the charge of zero, which is our solid. So you need to write this reaction and it's that simple. Now, the first thing I do is when I hear the word amps, I write the formula, I quit. I equals Q over T. I is for amps, Q is the charge in coulombs, and time is in seconds. What I first did is I converted minutes into seconds. On the dot, the numbers will be much nicer. You just make sure you understand the concept. 3560s is 2100 seconds. I go in and I plug into the I equals Q over T formula. We know the current in amperes is 2.5. The, the time is 2100. That gives me 5,250 coulombs of charge. What I do is to understand that that 5250 coulombs one mole of electrons is 96,500 coulombs. That number will be given to you. So relax on that, crosses out coulombs, and one mole of electron, or one mole of M, as you can see here, one mole of M requires two moles of electrons. Moles of electrons cancel, and I'm left with moles of M. Now the kill. The atomic weight of the metal is the grams of the metal over the moles. The grams of the metal deposited was 3.06. The amount of moles we got is 0272. Dividing it out gives me 112.5. And all I do is I simply go to the periodic table and look up what element is closest to that, and it's the element cadmium. Now let's go to the other board and let's do the rest of this problem. Now I start hitting a little harder. It says if this metal which we now know as cadmium is used with zinc to construct a galvanic cell, find the E0. A galvanic cell or a voltaic or an electrochemical cell will have a positive E0. So right off the bat, we know the answer has got to be a positive E0. I gave you the reduction potentials of cadmium and of zinc. Now, if you notice, both of these are in terms of reductions. You can't have two reductions. When you have an electrochemical cell, one's a reduction and one's an oxidation. So one of these has to be reversed. Which one? Well, it says it's a galvanic cell, which means it has to be positive. So if you reverse this one, you would have a positive here, and then this is a negative, and that would make it overall negative. So what you wanna do is to take the most negative sign and reverse it. So that means I'm going to keep the cadmium reaction as is, and I'm going to reverse this reaction. So that will put the zinc on the side, zinc plus two plus two electrons, electrons cancel, and I get the net ionic equation of cadmium ion plus zinc gives cadmium metal plus zinc plus two. So how would I find the total E zero? Well, what did I do? I kept this, so I'm going to keep the, ne the negative 0.40, I reversed this, so switch the sign, and that gave me positive 0.36 volts. What if 
I now say to you, what's the anode and what's the cathode? Well, if you remember the red cat, and I love cats, red cat and an ox, reduction is at the cathode, the anode is oxidation. You needed to write this equation to do this problem. So this was a hard one. As you can see, what's happening to the zinc? The zinc solid, and notice a solid is either the anode or the cathode has got to be made of solids. So the zinc is going up in number from a zero to a plus two. So the zinc would be the anode. And once you got the anode, by default, the other solid, which is cadmium, must be the cathode. This problem was gigantic. It's probably one of the best clips that I've ever done. Um, make sure you really go over this nice and slow. And if you understand this clip, I think you'll be set to go and destroy anything you'll see in the DAT exam. All right, I hope this helps. Go to the destroyer and you'll see some other very elegant problems. But if you can do this, you're in good shape. And don't forget, try to look at my tape on balancing a redox equation. That's another thing you need to know for the DAT exam. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.